the 115th Masked Women's Amateur Championship quarterfinals at George Wright. Four spots in the semifinals up for grabs. Medalist Shannon Johnson with a tough quarterfinal against Angela Garvin. Garvin with the big par save to keep it all square. We turned um, even through nine, um, and then we, were, we both made birdies on 10, so we were staying even, and then I won the next three holes, so I won 11, 12, 13. Three up after 13, Johnson would lose the next two. You know, I mean, you're still one up, you know, on the 16th tee. I told my, you know, I'm telling myself, I'm, you know, I'm still in this, obviously. Getting over the putt, I said, you know, you just have those feelings that a putt's gonna go in, and that happened, so pretty lucky. Closing it out on 17. You know, hasn't really set in yet. Uh, it's a long day of golf today, but um, yeah, looking forward to playing tomorrow and uh, hopefully making a few more putts. And that's what you want to have a long day of golf tomorrow too, right? Absolutely. I'll, uh, yeah, I'd really enjoy a really long day. <laughs> Just get a good night's rest, I guess? Absolutely. Go get some carbs and uh, take it easy. <laughs> Same half of the bracket. Fourth hole, Jacqueline Gonzalez, the nice save. She was taking on Emily Nash. This one closed throughout. I'd rather go up early, but I seem to go down <laughs> early and then fight my way back. So I'd rather try not to do that, but... Yeah, I seem to be able to hold it together towards the end. Nash, though, fell down by two on the 16th. It was a hard match. Emily played great. Um, but I hit a couple of really good shots in the last few holes and was able to, able to finish it out. Gonzalez would close it out three and one on the 17th. Ooh, it's so cool. I've never been in the semifinals before. In the other half of the bracket, soon to be bride, Claire Sheldon taking on Pam Kwong. Again, this one was close most of the way. Sheldon a two-hole lead late, just a few days before the big day. The goal is to try to make it to Thursday. It makes for a complicated week for me. I'm getting married on Saturday. Um, but I think kind of having, having there be an upside to winning and upside to losing was really helpful. Um, so I just kind of tried to play relaxed. Sheldon also closing it out on 17, advancing to the quarters just two days before her wedding, and that's just fine with her. Playing is nice because it gives me like a four hour break from like constantly checking the forecast to see what's gonna happen on Saturday. Sheldon will take on Crystal Knight in the semifinals, up six on Megan Blocka. Little issue with a gully on 12, led to losing the hole, and the fiery Knight wasn't happy despite being up five. Unfortunately, three putted. Not too happy about that, but overall my putting was good. I'm really happy with my wedges today. Happy with the way I played. I never play match play, so this is fun for me. Um, try shots that I don't normally do. But she won the 13th to advance with ease. This is my first time playing this event, so it's exciting to be able to advance to that level. I'm pretty proud to be playing with those that at that level, like I said. Um, it's definitely going to be harder. I expect to play a few more holes. All of the four remaining, hoping to play past the morning 18 semis and get to the afternoon finals. For a complete look at all the scores and brackets, please visit massgolf.org. I'm Don Coyne reporting.